All right, folks, so today I'm working on this uh, chassis. Uh, this is a Cortec uh, KTM F 10-inch. Uh, now, um, I think I have schematics, actually. I do, I do um, because I think I've used this one before. Um, this is the schematics for it. Actually, this... Uh, yeah, this looks like it, doesn't it? Uh, we've got this uh, flyback here, big filter cap over there, transformer, 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 transformer. Um, I see connector, remote board. Uh, yeah, we got yeah, we got all this uh, remote board. I see connector. I see, sorry, connector. Uh, so this is this is the one. Um, and indeed, I think if we go, there you go, we got all the schematics. I did work on this before. Um, KTM F, okay, that's correct. And it's got the parts for the, uh, the 14 uh, changer parts for 10 inch and 20 inch. So this chassis does a, a range of sizes. Actually, most chassis do, you'll find. Um, okay, 15, 17. 29 wow okay it can power a, quite a, a range of uh, monitors so this is handy having this um i'm not sure this is actually online i'll have to you look at it eurocoin vision series uh but there you go so um a quick inspection already and i saw i well i saw here that the um Vertical deflection I see is uh, is gone. It's a TDA 1675. I do have a few of these um, So we will replace that already. I I need to find out first if it needs uh, one of those mica uh, protectors though um, Not sure if it does because it seems to screw directly in there uh, And I think I have one of my cab is using one of those monitors. So I'll have a look there um, I also saw just burn marks here. Not great. So I'd say this uh, this capacitor probably leaked from uh, from the bottom. Um, looking around, I saw um, two resistors missing here: uh, R903 and 421. And if you look there, let me get some light. And uh, this cap here is. Uh, Looks like it's bulging. It's hard to see from this angle, but uh, there you go. Yeah, it's it's bulged, all right. So that needs at least replacing. Of course, we're gonna replace all the caps at some point, but for the sake of powering this guy, I'm gonna do all this first. And um, this guy as well doesn't look too healthy. It looks like the uh, it's it's popping out of the uh, of the protecting sleeve. It, it's not necessarily that it's bad. Um, but it's, it's usually not a good sign, so I'm gonna change this guy as well. And then uh, maybe that resistor over there beside this cap, because that looks like they've got singed. I'm gonna test that anyway. Uh, if it tests fine, it'll be okay. But there you go, so we're gonna change all this. The only thing, uh, thing I need to check is, uh, it says here uh, 120 volt AC, but I'm pretty sure I'm running 240 in this guy on in one of my cab uh, cab so uh, and i'm gonna have a look at the manu manual i think it's a free voltage uh monitor so i don't think i need i will think it can take a range of uh, of inputs power supply yeah there you go power supply can be 90 come on focus 90 to 265 very handy. These things are very handy, just like the um, the uh, uh, Hantarex as well. It doesn't need uh, necessarily an isolation transformer. So, okay, let's replace uh, bits and see what we get. All right, so we're, uh, how many weeks later? Uh, I only got time to, uh, to work on this little uh, batches in time, but essentially uh, I've, uh, I've put a new uh, vertical deflection IC. I've uh, changed the um, here the uh, the resistors that were missing. Uh, I've recapped 
the entire board. The other thing is this, um, uh, I, I'm assuming that's a horizontal, whatever, um, coil, uh, with coil, sorry. Um, and uh, I, uh, I took one from another, but this one was broken. So I took one from a, a spare board that I have here and um, recap the entire board. I said that already. Um, what else did I do on this? I think that was it. So after doing that, I was still getting a vertical, uh, vertical collapse. So I, I was just getting a white line uh, on the screen. Um, essentially, when you get vertical collapse, you just get a white line like that, and that's that's it. So, um, so I just started investigating in the vertical uh, circuit. So it's sort of this area here. This is our vertical deflection I see, and uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. it came yeah from the uh, from the input on the sink. So we got a horizontal, vertical sink. Uh, they are mixed. Um, so I started investigating this whole area here, uh, just looking at the resistor. So I had to literally unsolder um, one leg of the resistor, so they'll be lifted and test that and compare that to the uh, the values that uh, I get in the manual uh, here on this page. And they all matched. So then I checked these um, these uh, transistors here. Uh, this two here for the horizontal, this one here for the um resistor and that and that was fine uh, i actually swapped uh, this this ic here um that is uh, you see it in instance but it, it's uh, it's this guy here uh, i changed that as well from my other board no change so i at this stage i just wasn't sure uh, what else i could do because everything checked fine on the uh, vertical circuit uh, so I just checked the soldering and I actually found a lot of crack solder joints. Uh, the uh, joints for this uh, board, for this adapter board. So I just went over and just reflowed all the uh, all the connections, especially for these uh, boards, because they they move quite a bit and uh, and uh, it can make a difference. This uh, as well was uh, was uh, had cold uh, solder joints, but. Um, this shouldn't make a difference. This is just the RGB input. It shouldn't do have anything to do with the uh, whether we get a collapse. Um, when you get a collapse, essentially the entire screen, just the raster, just get compressed into the center of the screen. Um, even without any input, you should just see a sort of a white glow on the uh, on the screen. So uh, I'm glad I did that, and I shouldn't have done that in the, at the beginning anyway. Uh, it's the first thing you should be doing when you uh, when you have the monitor is just make sure there's no uh, cold uh, solder joints. Uh, but reflowed all them, still didn't make a chance. And when I uh, examined the underneath the board, let me just unplug this guy first. Underneath of the board, um, well, I'd known that already, but uh, look how this is our vertical IC here, and. Uh, it gets quite hot and it's taken a lot of traces. So I just checked the continuity uh, of all this uh, soldering I've done. And this is my own doing. And I found that this, uh, let me, ooh, this pin here and this pin here were shorted. Uh, so I redid my uh, soldering and um, the monitor came back to life. And let me show you. So I have this uh, uh, Pandora's box uh, jigged up here by the way before i finish uh, this is the other chassis here it's uh, identical but i uh, that's where i use the uh, the other parts um i put everything back actually um all the the ic's i changed uh, and i swapped i actually put them back here so i know they both work from both chassis the reason i didn't use this one this one had a lot more stuff missing so those two resistors are missing uh, there's actually a few caps here missing um, but if we do a full recap it's not a problem the, um, the vertical IC was missing the hot over there is missing and uh, and if you look underneath uh, this is actually in worse worse condition see those things were on all the time and that IC just generates such an amount of heat you can actually feel it by uh, having your hand hover over it like that so um, and when you touch that it's really hot and this guy these two guys get really hot as well and you can see here um, these traces got burnt and I can actually if I touch this uh, it just lifted the uh, the traces so 
it's not impossible to fix um in fact it wouldn't take too much to fix but um oh yeah look at this guy completely got burned somebody bridged that over uh and it's this resistor here uh that's actually solid and it's not moving but you can see how hot uh, these things run and because they were running like almost 24 7 because these were gambling machines and uh, there was a those gambling places don't really close they're open all the time so um these things would have been running 24 7 pretty much and just slowly slowly burning their way through the pcb it's quite it's quite horrendous i've seen worse but um, this is bad so this one was in worse condition look at the uh, the vertical deflection i see here um the traces on that are just completely gone so i'd have to um do a lot of patching uh stuff here uh, I'm seeing a lot of damage here as well patching here has been done but I probably want to redo that at some point or at least clear that patching here would have to be done missing ICs and all that so I think this will be a, a good spare board I have another one of these for a, a 14 inch chassis as well and uh, I'll use that as a spare board for, for that if need be uh, I've scavenged some stuff for this guy uh, anyway so We'll use it for that. Anyway, let's go back to our video. Let me plug this in. We hear that crackling and glow. And uh, just give it a moment for boot and all that kind of stuff. But there you go. There you go. Let me see if I can get uh, an angle that doesn't have that as much reflection. Um, and uh, I've already done the adjustments, so we got a uh, just beautiful sharp colors. Actually, the burn isn't too bad on this. Uh, I'm not too worried. This will be another test monitor. Actually, no. What am I saying? The burn is pretty bad on this here, and I can see. Oh yeah, it's it's extensive actually, and the the cards from the from the poker barn. Um, but never mind, never mind. Um, I have a couple of spare tubes, but the monitor now is back running at least. And uh, another one saved. Um, th there wasn't much I could have showed you really in in terms of troubleshooting. It was just replacing the missing ICs, and the checking of everything else was just sort of uh, pointless to uh, to film because it's just it's just comparing values um, that took hours and uh, and checking the uh, those transistors for no reason whatsoever. I even changed this guy here uh, just in case. Um, but it, I shouldn't have, I should really have uh, focused on the vertical collapse to start with. Um, but anyway, folks, there you go. That's a, a, a new monitor uh, back working. I'm not sure what I'll do with this. Um, maybe I'm, I keep saying that I have this other mini um, a nine inch one here that I use for vertical uh, testing vertical games. Uh, that's another one. And I have another couple of uh, 10 inch uh, chassis. So. Maybe I should do some sort of mini cabs, like have a couple of Neo Geo stuff now and make a, a mini G Neo Geo uh, project just for the sake of the channel. We'll see. Anyway, folks, um, thank you for watching as usual and uh, I'll see you next time.